controversial arrest in Waterbury after police took in a seven-year-old who brought a BB gun to school on a school bus. Yeah, it was arresting that first grader going too far, or was it the right thing to do? News 8's Bob Wilson live tonight in Hartford with more. Bob? Yeah, police say it wasn't their first choice, but they believe it was the right thing to do. And we want to be clear, he was never put in handcuffs. It wasn't like he was put in a squad car and taken down to uh, juvenile detention. They uh, took him off the bus, they put him in the office, and then they released him to his parents. But they say overall, they just want to make sure that uh, there isn't a bigger underlying issue here. Meanwhile, the community, very surprised. A seven-year-old brought a pellet gun to school. Oh my God. It's just a sad commentary on what's going on these days. Police say it happened on the way to the Hopesville Elementary School in Waterbury. They say a seven-year-old pulled out a pellet gun and started showing it to his friends on the bus. The bus driver noticed a commotion in the back and he went to investigate. He found a seven-year-old holding a realistic-looking pellet gun. He took the gun, and police were called, and the kid was arrested. I'm surprised in some ways, but not in other ways. It's just, I was just kind of hoping that seven-year-olds would be a little more innocent than that. Or maybe he was being innocent and just thinking, you know, this is cool. Now, it's important to point out that the pellet gun never actually made it into the school. The school bus driver saw it on the bus and seized it then. It was unloaded, but police say it was an exact replica of a real handgun. That's one of the biggest problems. It's hard to tell for police, and they say that's one of the reasons the seven-year-old was arrested. First option is not to arrest in a case like this, but certainly in light of the recent tragedy in Newtown and uh, the alarm that it causes, uh, the officer made that decision. Police say the seven-year-old was arrested at his school and then released into the custody of his parents. The boy was never transported in handcuffs or locked up. It was a hard decision for police arresting a seven-year-old, but they want to make sure that there aren't bigger issues at play. And the seven-year-old is certainly not going to go to jail. The juvenile court has many options, diversionary programs where they examine what's the underlying cause. Why did this child do this and we're going to prevent it from happening again? There's no supervision in the house, you know. For a seven-year-old to get a hold of that, you know, I don't think that's, I don't know, my seven-year-old, I don't know what I'll do. Now, police say the gun belonged to an uncle, and it was taken from the uncle's drawer without his knowledge. The uh, seven-year-old admitted to police, they say, he took that gun, and that's when he took it to school. Police just want to make sure nothing happens later on down in life for him. I'm Bob Wilson, reporting live in Hartford, News 8.